In this quick video, I'm going to show you where you can access the websites that I've given you links for. So here we are in the home page of the class website. If you go to the navigation bar to the left, you can see that the first website that you can link to is the student websites. When you click on that button, it will take you to a Wordle with everyone's name on it. You click on that button and it will take you to this page. That's a website portal that has a button for everyone's name on it. You can press the button and be taken to their websites as soon as we've created them. The next one over here on the left is the link to the class blog. This is what the class blog looks like. Um, the kids will be posting them probably every couple of weeks, and I will be posting a newsletter every Friday or every other Friday, and this is where you can find the most current links. And over here on the right, down near the bottom, there is the blog directory with all of the students' pseudonyms on uh, the scroll. So if you wanted to find your student's blog, you would click on, you would ask them what their pseudonym is, you would click on their name, and you would be taken to their personal blog. The next link is a link to Schoology. Some of you may have already noticed that there are two different Schoologies. This is what the, the website looks like for the correct Schoology. This is Jeffco Schoology. You don't want to type in Schoology.com. That is a much broader Schoology. So this is the correct link for Schoology. As you scroll down, the very last link is for the keyboarding practice. It will take them to a link for a website called Fun to Type. You can use another one, your own, or you can choose to use this one. If you scroll below the navigation bar, right here is the link to Vocabulary Spelling City. It's right above the dolphin down here. You click on Vocabulary Spelling City and it will take you to the home page um, for my particular teacher site. Now this is probably my home page, but what you'll want to do is go to Login and this is what the page will look like. You would go to the student username, which would be your child's name with K-L-E-S after it. So I'm just going to choose Abby with capital K-L-E-S. And then this, everyone's student password is student. And then you click login and it now takes you into a home page that looks like mine. Down here are the lists, and you would click the list to practice. Up here are assignments that I will have assigned, but I haven't assigned any yet, as you can see. So you would go and you would choose the list that you're on, and here is the list, and this is where you play a game. These right here on the left-hand side, where in this box are the games for spelling. These are the games for vocabulary, which we are not doing yet. Notice that they all are in this section. And this one right here, sentence writing practice, is the one that I was referring to in my email. This one right here, Spelling Test Me, is the one that they would be doing on Thursday nights. Do you want to take a practice test or a spelling test? On Thursday nights, they would be taking a practice test. This is what the practice test would look like. They would enter in their words and it will score it for them. You would do check me 
and then it would store it for me. The last thing I'm going to show you is a link right here called Symbaloo Resources. These are all links similar to apps. They're all pictures, they're tiles um, that you can click on that will take you to a variety of different things. You'll notice here's another link to Schoology. There is a link, another link to Spelling City over here. And you can just play around and look for, here's Everyday Math. There's more math down here. Um, you can just play around and look at the different links that are here. There's another link on the navigation bar for an entire page of math resources. So if you look over here, it will say math resources. And that's a whole other page of Symbaloo resources for math. Okay, if you have any more questions, then just let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.